Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about very interesting topic, music and noise. First let us see what is music. So what is music according to us? So whatever is pleasant and soothing to our ears, so that is known as a music. So music is an art of sound in time that expresses ideas and emotions in significant forms through elements of rhythm, melody and harmony. Sound, as we know, sound is the vibration of air particles, so which travels to your ears from vibrations of the object making the sound. These vibrations of sound in the air are called as sound waves. So basically what are these sound waves? Whenever an object is vibrating, so it produces sound. So that vibration is passed to the neighboring air molecules and that air molecule also start vibrating. Similarly, sound waves propagate through air. This we have already seen that sound always requires material medium for propagation. So sound waves travel through air. So this sound reaches our ears. When a door is slammed suddenly, the door vibrates and it sends the sound waves through air. Similarly, when a guitar string is plucked, the string vibrates and then the soundboard which sends uh, sound waves through the air. So when a guitar string is plucked, the string vibrates the soundboard, so which sends the sound through air. So in both the cases, what we can notice? In both the cases, the object vibrates and due to the vibration of the object, sound propagates through vacuum. So these sound waves travel through air. The waveform of a door slamming looks something like this. So we can observe that when a door is suddenly slammed or when you suddenly shut a door, the waveforms looks like this. Just by observing the waveform, we can notice that these waveforms are irregular. So these waveforms are jerky and irregular and this results in a very harsh sound. So that is why when a door is slammed suddenly or shut suddenly, we will hear a harsh sound. The waveform of a guitar string looks something like this. So it is very nice and regular. So the guitar string makes a continuous regular series of repeated cycles which we hear as a smooth and constant musical tone. Just by noting the differences between the waveforms of suddenly slamming a door and a guitar string pulled. So here we can notice that the waves are very smooth, continuous and regular. So that is why when a guitar string is pulled, we hear a smooth and constant musical uh, tone. While the door is suddenly slammed, we hear a very harsh sound. So this is what makes the difference between a musical tone and a noise. This regularity of the vibration is the difference between a musical sound and a non-musical sound. Pleasing sounds that have periodic wave patterns with regular waveforms are known as musical sound. So just now we have noted the difference between a musical waveform and a non-musical waveform. A musical waveform is always pleasing sounds that have periodic wave patterns. They have regular waveforms and these are known as musical sound. While noise is an unwanted sound which is considered unpleasant or harsh, it's normally loud or disruptive to hearing. From a physics standpoint, noise is indistinguishable from sound as both are vibrations through a medium such as air or water. The difference arises when the brain receives and perceives a sound. So this is what is an important point to be noted. So according to physics standpoint of view, both sound, music as well as noise, both are sound waves. But what makes the difference? The perception of brain. If you attend a rock concert, it may be music for some people, while for some people it may be a noise. So this is what a per perception of brain. Noise of less than 75 decibels can cause hearing damage. So prolonged, prolonged exposure to noise causes auditory fatigue and deafness. 
normal conversation will be of 60 decibels so if you have prolonged exposure to more than 60 decibels or even less than 75 decibels will causes auditory damage and deafness so now quickly list out the differences between noise and music music has a pleasing effect on the listener noise is unpleasant to a person because of its irregular waveform low frequency and sudden changes in wavelength noise can obstruct garble and contradict the meaning of human communication it is an unwanted sound usually very loud and meaningless so if there is any noise while well, normal conversation it may contradict the uh, it may contradict the meaning of normal human conversation there is only a very thin line which distinguishes music from noise with the popularity of rock music as i told you earlier what is considered noise by other people may be music to the ears of other. It's only the perception of brain. So once again, let us recall. Music is the art of arranging and combining sounds in order to create a harmonious melody, while noise is an unwanted sound that is usually very loud and meaningless. Music is pleasing to the ears, while noise is an unpleasant sound. Noise has irregular waveform and wavelength and has low frequency, while music has frequencies and wavelengths that are harmonious. Noise can obstruct and confuse the spoken messages of man and animals while they are communicating with each other, while music has a very soothing and pleasing effect. Another thing to be noted is both noise and music, when very loud, can be damaging to the human ears. So prolonged exposure to loud music or noise may be damaging to the ears. With this, I would like to conclude. Thank you for being with me.